Hello everybody, my name is Philip and today I want to tell you about colours. Now, I think you probably have a favourite colour but I want to tell you about colours all together and you might remember seeing about a year ago people started drawing rainbows and putting them in their windows. So I want to show you something about the colours of the rainbow and the way in which they go together. So here we go, some rainbows that were in the window over the past year. Again, you hold tight to your umbrella, darling. I'm just trying to tell you that there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head. We made this rainbow with a hose pipe in the garden. But here's a real one up in the sky, taken a few weeks ago. Isn't it lovely? Arching right across the sky. And the colours are nearly always, in fact they are always the same. It starts with a kind of red, and then an orangey, then yellow, then greeny, then blue, then it goes a bit purple, and that indigo is the last kind of colour you get. And I put them together on a sign like this, which was made for me beautifully by my daughter, for anything I'm doing about bubbles. And I want to show you now how to make the colours come together. First of all, if you have a CD like this, you can see the colours. Can you see them there? If you flick it around in the light, you'll see the colours. Well, I've got a CD, an old one, and on the one side I've stuck a marble, and I put a bit of paper with the colours on them and watch what happens. I'm going to try and give it a big spin, see where the colours will come together. And sure enough, when you spin it, they all come together and make it look a bit white. But then as it slows down, can you see the colours coming out there? I can see little bits of them now. I can see yellow, ooh, yes, yellow and blue, and a bit of red, and I think there's some kind of orange colour, I'm not sure. Oh, now I can see them clearly. They're all there now. Let's spin it fast again and see all the colours disappear. So here they go. And they become almost white. Amazing. Now, here are three different kinds of paint. Red, yellow and blue. If I mix the yellow and the red, I get an orange. And then if I mix the yellow and the blue, what will I get, I wonder? Mm, I'm using a lot more yellow, I think, here, because blue is a very strong colour. And I get a bit of green. Can you see it? A little bit green? Now I'm going to mix the red and the blue, and I get a lovely purple. And I thought, I wonder if I mix them all together, if I'd get a really nice colour. So I really worked hard. <laughs> And it looked quite good at first, didn't it? There's quite a lot of blue and yellow and red and it's looking nice. But the more and more I mix to try and get a really nice colour, the darker and darker and the messier it became. In fact, it looked so horrid. And you know something? Once you've done that, it's impossible to undo the mixing unless you use a little trick with the camera. And so I'm now going to unmix them using the trick of the camera and reversing the film and watch the colours come apart again. It's really quite magical. We get back, there we are, push back the yellow into itself, and then the red into itself, and there we are. But now I want to show you the colours of a bubble, because they're quite beautiful, I think. And I hope you enjoy the colours that you're going to see today.